Hello and welcome to the 50th tutorial in the Cocos 2DX version 3C++ tutorial series and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to replace a scene. This tutorial assumes you've done tutorial 49 if you haven't don't worry there will be a link in the description to the source code or you can implement it directly into your own project plus there will be another link in the description to the source code produced from this tutorial. So let's just go ahead and open up our project. And what we've done before is we've pushed a scene from Hello World, aka we pushed a new scene, then we pop this scene when you click a button. The replace scene essentially pops the current scene and then pushes on a new scene. So, as the name suggests, replaces the current scene with a different scene. So the current scene no longer exists. So you can't get back to the same state by just maybe popping again. So, what we're going to do, we're just going to go to Hello World Scene.cbp and to push a scene, you just need to. I will get rid of this code and I will redo it. Actually, no. I will do it via high scores. So, a different button. We'll do auto scene equals new scene colon colon create scene semicolon. Sorry, let's just zoom in here so you can see it a little better. Director get instance replace scene. Then you just supply the scene you want to replace. Now we're going to do we're going to do the same for new scene. So when you click, uh, we'll, we'll add another menu item for replacing the scene because you can't if we just pop this in, nothing will lot, nothing will be there. Um, call it back to go back to go to our new scene. The H simply duplicate this. But go back to go to our CPP and we just want to set this position. It's going to put two, maybe I'm just going to put three, three. This is just to position it. And here we're going to supply, supply sorry, the other menu item that we're going to add. And finally, we are just going to copy and paste this. Change this to go back to. We can get rid of this, put auto scene. Before we do that, we need to actually include the hello world header. So hash include hello world scene. Let's scroll down. You put equal to hello world create scene semicolon. Then we do director. Get ins. Sorry, it needs to be colon colon. Get instance. Replace scene. Then we just do scene. And now, if we just run the application, we'll be able to replace scenes. And what is this loading? You might think where the replacing a scene useful. For example, if you're on the main menu, you click play, and it takes you to the game screen, you most likely want to use replace scene because you're not really doing anything in the main menu uh, that needs to persist and that needs to stay the same. It'll most likely just be in code. So, um, for example, if you lose and you can use the replace scene to replace your game screen with the game over scene, because even though you can click replay, you just want a new instance of that scene. You don't want to continue where you left off because that's where you died. So, if we just click high scores. We go back here and go back, or I'll put actually put add there. Doesn't matter if we click back and we go back. You might think it looks very similar, and it does. It's just the difference is with this one, it's just pop it, pushing and popping. So it's pushing new scene, the old scene still exists, so all the stuff that's happening in there is just paused and it's doing the new processing in the new scene, then it pops it, then it's continuing back to the old scene. With this one, this is an entirely new scene. You click go back, this is an entirely new scene. So that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to show you how to use scene transitions with the pushing and replacing because at the moment they look very static. It's just switching from one to another. Let's just liven them up a bit. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonosystem.co.uk. The, the email will be in the description or you can just comment on this video or directly message us via YouTube. Also, all the required links for the source code will be in the description. And as usual, thanks for watching and have a nice day.